Hi, in this video we learn about Ansible installation in Cent OS 6.0 and how to uninstall already install Ansible in Cent OS 6.5 and how to add Ansible host entry for local host and Ansible basic commands. So going ahead with this tutorial first we have to install the day one sent to us and we need a root user id and password for that before going ahead i want to just uh, explain you about how ansible it will work and all so suppose now this day we have a like a server management kinds of a thing where we have to manage the 10 number of servers like dev server, QA server, UAT, prod in even though dev there is a multiple development server will be there like it uh, dev for xyz, dev for database, dev for web, dev for application server, dev for web server, dev for firewall and xyz so for managing the server that's a very hard there is around we need to log in we, we have to do the 10 number of things from one by one and so ansible is nothing but a, one of the server management tool where we can manage that servers with help of a ansible client and ansible core and we have a number of other modules as well in more details we see in later or in later video so for our main target of this video is like how to Ansible installations in CentOS 6.5 Ansible uninstall uh, how to uh, uninstall in a CentOS 6.5 host in 3 and we'll see some basic command so I'm going to start okay before going to start we'll understand this uh, diagram first Suppose I am like a admin user. I want to check that a disk space, how many disk space is there in the server. So first scenario, I have to log in in this server. I'll go and perform that df minus h or fd minus g, where I can see that how much the hardware resource is free and occupied. If I want to do for QA again, if I want to UAT and pod, I have to log in all those server and I have to check that all those things and instead of going ahead Ansible, Ansible will be saved that our time there you no need to um, log in in individual server I'll configure that in Ansible servers and I'll make a host entry for all these servers and I'll create one group for like and uh, they um, or we can say that XYZ with help of that if i perform that one single command it will log in with all the server and it will extract the data and it will be i'll get that response from as a admin user similarly if i want to do that part a server specific i'll pass that a command in server specific so we'll have a one in between ansible server which will take care about that all those server other servers management with help of a small configurations file Similarly, if release management uh, manager want to release that some applications, he log in Ansible, he'll perform the command, it will go to respective environment as per like and passing the parameter. Again, in, in, in Jenkins, we can configure that uh, Jenkins with Ansible and it will pull the command from uh, so, uh, uh, source control and it will be pushed that in respective server where we want or do that uh, build, deploy and whatever you want. So th this is all about in basic now you'll understand one by one how to install ansible in centos 6.5 so first we need a one centos um, unix environment uh, like install in your system i have already installed now i'm going to do that so before going ahead make sure you have a internet connectivity in your system otherwise you have downloaded all rpm and all so i'll check that oh 
now I'm getting the tapping that means I have internet connectivity with me I have already logged in with a root user so nothing to do if you, you have not logged in then you have to just perform issue it will prompt that uh, because I'm already logged in so it's like yeah, coming the same otherwise it will ask that a uh, root password or you can do that like an su root then it will ask other password because I have already logged in root so it's not allowing otherwise other uh, alternatively if you don't have a root access you if you have a sudo access as well it will work so let me clear now so our target is how to install the ansible in sent os 6.5 first i'll check that it's already there or not so for checking that ansible we have to perform the okay ansible command not found that means key we don't have a ansible in this unix environment now i'm going to install that So this is the command with help of that will install that Ansible in your CentOS 6.5 or any other operating system, uh, operating system like was Unix or Linux. So it will take a while. It's updating that all those files, whatever is required, and after that, the, uh, after the completions of now, we are in the process of installing the Ansible. Just be here with us. Generally, while preparing the video, people are skipping these steps. But I, I want to make sure you are following that uh, same what I'm I'm getting, or I can also remove this uh, step. Anyhow, now it's about to uh, done. So before that, whatever the download is required, it's already downloaded. So Ansible no range 0.1 something one file is required which, which is main file and after that it's uh, asking this file is already uh, like a downloaded installing are you sure one you want yes or no so we have to pass that a y and then enter after doing this once it will download that uh, that uh, file and it will be installed so now we got that a uh, message install ansible 1.0 nine point four point something so these are the we can say that uh, um, with help of only yum install ansible we install that ansible and we got these are the uh, like internal command executed and after that it's completed so that means key our ansible installations got successful how to verify it so we have to just perform that uh, ansible okay so now if you will see that in first before installations i perform that ansible command and we got that there is a same command we i perform like ansible base ansible command not found but now after installations we are able to see that some you'll see that uh, version so with help of ansible hyphen version we are able to print that ansible 1.9.4 and configure module search path is equal to none that means key and Siebel in install in our our system so after installations we need to verify that few things we'll see ls minus ltr etc and Siebel. so this is that default directory after installations this directory will be created where we have a roles host and Siebel config and host uh, parameter so now our installation is this first step is done 
we uninstall after completion of this tutorial or we can say that in last step otherwise again we have to wait and install it so the installations this step is done this step is done now we will see that a ansible host entry for local host so now we got that a host file so just to have what you have to do bi slash etc ansible host this is nothing but kind of a uh, similar text file and we got that by default these are the command for example purpose only for for first example on group host specify before any group uh, group headers suppose in our pictures we have seen that if i want to perform dev if i want to qa uh, pattern prod then i have to one by one we have to configure that on group host entry over here if you have a group server like in set up a web servers and you want to perform similar kinds of a thing then we have to group over here with help of a domain name or with help of a ip address if you have a multiple host follow a patterns you can specify the likewise pattern as well like www0210026 example.com like uh, 001 example.com 002 example.com 00 up to 6 example.com Th these are the patterns we can also follow third example a collection of a database server in the db server group will create uh, with help of the db server group if i perform any any command then it will be impact for all the server so the, these are the by default install uh, creations of a host entry what we are going to do i'm going to just comment it because these are the example and it will not found so i'm just doing that come i'm commenting commenting it out and okay now what i have here only one server as of now install in sent OS. so we'll perform create one group where i'll mention that a local i'll put that 127.0.0.1 so this is nothing but my ip address of a current unix system or sent to a system and the name of a group i put there just like local so this is nothing but i'm going to do that everything in over here after that i for saving the command just we have to escape shift clone and then wq we have to press enter after that this file got saved if you want to verify just perform again vi the same file so these are the command is there so second time if you don't want to verify just quit it now <coughs> we install the ansible installations done we already had that host entry for that now we'll see that is some basic command so for basic command i have already uh, uh, mentioned that in my tutorial you can follow from over here in ansible tab ansible label sorry i'm sorry for that in ansible i have put that seven post you can fo uh, follow that all those post so for installations if you'll see that in windows and all the installations is already there in somewhere else for, uh, in this tutorial i installed that in that time it was there for like 1.7 but uh, uh, till today that there are upgrades and we have 1.9 creating a basic inventory file that in inventory file we have already there like and if you want then just perform because after installations by default it will be there if you want to create you can create it but it was there already we have just added that a host entry with a local and something and this and this are and saving and quit i have just save and quit it now after that this is that kinds of like a db server if you want to configure app server web server and all you have to do that as per that your requirement now we'll see this command ansible local free minus m and some uh, user id and we have to pass that a password for that so the first command we are just going to do that a free minus m so before going to check that free uh, in ansible command we'll check that a unix command first 
so uh, after running the tab free minus m unix command we got that these are the output we'll see if we'll perform by uncivil command what we are getting Ansible is nothing but a tool again this is local is nothing but a name of uh, host group minus a which command I'm going to perform and minus u nothing but a username root and minus k is nothing but SSH password it will ask that a password or it will prompt that a password for that so it's asking the password I have just mentioned that my password like a test one two three I enter it and just enter we got that a uh, output in, in the in this command perform in our host first and got success and after that we got that a uh, total used free share buffer and catch similar same response if you'll see in the catch we got that in uh, dos uh, like an unix command 182 over in ansible also we got similar command so this is that the basic command uh, for like and checking that a uh, free rm if you want to check that uh, other command df minus h it will perform that how much disk space is there in uh, like by ansible where df minus h if i perform that in unix same same command we are getting so what is difference for performing the df minus h command i have to log in over here again we have to do that all those things and i have to remember that if i want to perform df minus h command in four five server i have to do that one by one manually but if i'll configure that a host in tray if i'll configure as a host in tray over here like a I want to add that one more host entry I just mentioned that a local host and the first one is a uh, IP address if I perform this command TST. oh using SSS password instance of a key is not possible because the host key checking is enabled for SSH password does not support to okay for local host and that doesn't support reason why we need a need, need like SSH entry for that anyhow so if you add that like a host entry likewise one uh, n number of server and uh, if the host uh, SSH file will be there uh, and configure then we can get that uh, output and uh, in, in single place so this is that a uh, basic command after that we can write a role we can write a module we have a number of other things as well so and uh, this is uh, all about uh, how to install the ansible okay we'll see how to install the ansible how to add that host entry the basic command and now we are, i'm going to do that how to uninstall that ansible from unix so what you have to do just why you am you have to just erase that ansible and perform this command it's confirming you really want to uninstall then I uh, uninstall it if I perform that and as I unsible it nothing is there if I'll see ls minus ltr slash etc unsible so there is no no host, host uh, nothing is there so that means cancel is un uninstall so this is all about how to install ansible how host entry how to check that basic command and how to uninstall that uh, ansible i'll recommend just go th um, um, go through that in more detail uh, from website the http clone www.ansible.com uh, i go through this website and found so many useful informations and they are the sole whole and sole honor for ansible and please like and share it and don't forget to subscribe